Brethren, when you look around the world today, you agree with me that our generation is facing uncommon challenges. And uncommon challenges demand an uncommon faith to be saved. When you look at what is happening around you, when you look at what is happening around the world in general, you will agree with me that our generation is facing uncommon challenges. And uncommon challenges demand uncommon faith to be saved. It is important for us to know that in life, we do have days, weeks, months, and years that come with enormous challenges. They are inevitable. It is time and season when God wants us to learn the important and crucial lessons of life. And such they are unchangeable events because they are predestined to prepare us, to strengthen our desire for Christ. When they come, how best do you handle them? When they come, as Christian, how best do you handle those periods? Majority of us are spiritually blind, spiritually dull, dull in understanding, with the unseen realm absolutely close to our spiritual vision. We can only see the outward effects of Satan actions. Satan actions but we are blind to our spiritual cause. We can only see something happening, but we don't know the cause. But God oftentimes uses foolish thing. Let's I want to say foolish thing. God oftentimes uses foolish thing to prepare us, to strengthen our desire and determination for him to stop us a while and rearrange us for the future. Whatever difficulties that you are facing, brethren, whatever challenges that you may be passing through, be assured that it is not your challenges that make you fall, but your response and your reaction to them. It is not your challenges that make you fall or fail in life, but your response and your reaction to them. Why some of us yield to pressure and make wrong decisions. Others face the same challenges, but make the right decisions. But always remember that broken focus is the real reason why men fail today. Whatever challenges that you are going through, brethren, it is not your challenges that make you fall, but your response and your reaction to them. Why some of us yield to pressure and make wrong decisions. Others face the same pressures, the same tests and trials, but they made a right decision. But always remember that broken focus is the reason why people fail. Regardless of your situation, choose today to let the one who created you assist you in all you do. 
I don't know the situation you are going through, but I know Jesus knows. Whatever might be your challenges, brethren, choose today to let the one who created you assist you. Do not allow your bad experience to limit you. Do not allow your bad experience to wipe you out. Why didn't you turn your scars into stars? Why didn't you turn your mess into a message? Why didn't you turn your test into a testimony? Tell your neighbor, no matter my situation. I can hear you, no matter my situation. I will turn my scars into stars. I will turn my scars into stars. You know, a Christian is known by his ability to face situations and circumstances. I believe I'm talking to God's people. And I believe if you are not, before the end of this message, you will be one in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world. A Christian is known by his ability to face situations and circumstances. Those who see beyond their challenges. Those who see beyond their situations. Do not despair in the face of their seemingly setbacks. But today, we oftentimes run away from the very thing that brings strength into our lives. Today, we oftentimes dodge situations that oftentimes bring strength into our lives. Tell your neighbor, turn your scars into stars. No matter the situation you may be facing, brethren, turn them into stars. You see, throughout history, the lives of the heroes of faith have proved that we are created to live for God's design and not by default. When you read your Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, you will agree with me that the lives of the heroes of faith have proved that we are to live for God's design and not by default. Remember, there are two sides to a coin just as two dimensions to life. And as the saying goes, no wounds, no pearls. Do not allow your circumstances to rob you, to limit you. Let the one who created you assist you today. Let the one who created you assist you today. And turn your scars into stars. If you make the word of God your rule. And the grace of God your principle. Victory is yours. In the name of Jesus Christ. Victory is yours. In the blood of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless his word. In the midst of our hearts in Jesus name. Let someone say, thank you, Jesus, for turning my scars into stars, no matter my situation. Thank you for turning my scars into stars, in Jesus' name.